What's up gaming heroes and welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. Guys, I've turned 30. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do with my life? I've turned 30, guys. I started playing World of Warcraft when I was 12 years old. 18 years later and here we are today. What a journey we've been on so far. Thank you everyone who've supported me, who've liked the videos, who've subscribed, everything of this nature. I appreciate you guys are amazing and thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons who are continuing to support the channel, getting access to erosiumtv.com which is my unique guides website where you can make gold, learn how to make gold. There are 70 guides available to you right now, over 250 hours worth of content. So if you want to support me, then check out my Patreon. This video is all about top five gaming mice in World of Warcraft. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. All the links in this video are affiliate links, but that's not why I'm making the video. I'm making the video because I actually need to buy a new mouse. And then it just occurred to me, well, what if my audience do too? In today's video, we're going to be looking at a guide from Battleshout, which is a website I actually own, which has a bunch of writers uh, which are writing awesome content about Wood Warcraft all the time. Links in the description. And one of the new writers wrote this article and I was really, really impressed that I, uh, I learned some things about Wood Warcraft and about mice that I didn't even know. So we're going to get into this article in just a second. Just quickly want to say that you can get yourself an awesome t-shirt from QWERTY.com, just like the one I'm wearing. I've been wearing the t-shirts for around 14 years now. The t-shirts are completely unique. They last for two days and then you can never buy them ever again. So always check back every day and use code Erosium if you want to get $1, one euro or one pound off. Let's get into the video. Haven't played World of Warcraft for 14 years. This writer has played for 14 years. So, you know, he's not too far behind me. I think he would have joined back in like TBC, at the end of TBC, maybe Wrath. That's pretty good still. That's pretty good. Uh, so the first mouse on this list is the Red Dragon Impact MMO mouse. As I can, I can see here, I think there are buttons on the side of the mouse. Here, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, there are buttons on the side of the mouse and it's got like the thumb rests as well on both sides. A little finger rest there for right-handed people. Um, Left-handed people might struggle a bit more so with this, but it depends if they've got a mouse that suits it or not. But either way, those buttons look really sturdy and actually look like they are, are of potential use there. The reason you want to have extra buttons in World of Warcraft is because you have so many abilities. I know for myself in particular, I have around 30-ish abilities that I often press. And so having these extra 12 buttons on the mouse side really, really helps. I actually make use of the wheel up and then I hold shift and wheel up and shift wheel down, control wheel up and control wheel down. Those work really, really well for me. And it's completely wireless. Okay, cool. So what's the next one? Let's have a look. Logitech G600. It looks like a really similar mouse. I, I really love Logitech. I'm a Logitech fanboy. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you, a bit of a Logitech fanboy uh, <laughs> with that regard. And the reason for that is um I'm actually using right now a G300, uh, which is a really, really fast mouse, and it's really good for like um like Fortnite or Realm Royale or any like shooting game. It's really, really good for that because it's so fast. But uh, overall, it's just not suiting what I need. It's got no extra buttons. I need extra buttons for my MMO mouse because it's a World of Warcraft mouse at the end of the day. That's what I need it to be about. So I'm thinking of getting this. But what I don't like about this one here uh, it's actually not too bad, is the, the weirdly shaped buttons. I think, I don't know if it's my OCD or if it's something else, but the weirdly shaped buttons do make me a bit dubious. But then again, having oddly shaped buttons could allow my thumb to read those buttons a bit better. I cut this thumb off uh, when I was younger. Uh, so I actually, cut, I don't have full mobility in this thumb. If I were to show you on the full screen, you can see like kind of this scar there. 
um, on my thumb from where it was uh, cut. Yeah, you see that? And so I don't have full mobility in my thumb and uh, it's just something that that happens so those actually might be useful to be able to feel the difference of the buttons if they all feel the same like they do potentially with this one um that might be a problem so might hey that could actually be really good let's go down to the next one there's only five to go through so uh, let's actually have a look at all five let's just grab all five there you go okay so the next one to look at is the corsair scimitar uh, Elite RGB. Oh, it's RGB. How fancy. <laughs> All right. This is really sleek. Oh, dude, I can see this mouse getting sweaty in my head. I've had a mouse like this before where it looked so sleek and then it got quite like sweaty in my hand. I, I used to work at an electronic store once upon a time in a in a land far, far away. <laughs> I used to work at an electronic store and back then. I used to sell a lot of this Corsair stuff and it used to be really, really good. Uh, they they tend to be absolutely incredible. What I'm noticing here is they've got really nice lighting there. They've also got textured buttons. So that actually allows you to be able to tell which button you're pressing without needing to look. That's incredibly useful. And it's also not oddly shaped, which I really, really like about that. So I think the this might get sweaty. I'm not sure. I can't really know for fact. I love having the wire. I don't like wireless mouses as, as much. Mouses? Mice. I don't like uh, wireless mice as much. I love corded mice. So that seems like a really good one so far, especially with the... Uh, the textured button. So that actually looks really interesting to me personally. And something like I might actually consider getting this mouse, this mouse as a result. It's slightly more from what I can see uh, in terms of dollars, but it looks like it could be a better one. I would need to check the reviews to see if this is a slightly more sweaty one or not. Uh, and if you're like, because obviously I'm playing the game for like 12 hours at a time sometimes, I need to make sure that my hand's not going to be slipping and sliding. Or... Okay, so let's look at the next one. The next one, I don't think sweating's ever going to be a problem with this mouse because it looks like it is designed for sweaties like me. Okay, and this one's on deal at the moment. Oh, hello there. Right, let's have a look at the side buttons. I've got to look at the side button. Oh, see, the problem with that is you don't know if you're pressing three or six or nine. Uh, they all feel the same. They've got no difference in buttons. They are all smooth design, so I think I would like struggle more so with that. But then having this breathable mouse, it, that's pretty awesome. I love having the breathable mouse, and it's I imagine it makes it a lighter mouse as well, right? Because if you look at a mouse, it's got full plastic all the way around. If oh, although then again, sometimes having a heavy mouse is really nice. So it depends on what it is you're after. This is a wireless Bluetooth mouse, so you do have to consider that as well. There isn't an option to go wired at the moment. It has 12 buttons there, and then it has the two basic buttons, and then it's got the mouse wheel as well. Pretty cool mouse. I quite like it, but I, I think the, the side buttons are the killer for me on that one. The next one we come to is the Razer. Naga, which I am going to talk about a little bit. How to word this? I like Razor mice. I think they're very good mice. I absolutely love them. However, <laughs> when I bought a Razor mouse eight years ago, Nine years ago? I'm old, dude. Ten years ago, I bought a Razer mouse. It lasted for 12 months, and then it stopped working out of the blue. No reason to it. It just stopped working. And I could never figure out why it stopped working. I, I don't really know, but I have bought a Razer mouse before, and it would frustrate me if I were to buy it and then it would stop working for any way, shape, or form. That would really, really personally frustrate me. So 
Um, I would also consider that and I would check the reviews before buying uh, just to see what the warranty is, see what people's thoughts are on it and see what the confirmed buyers are saying about the my mouse. What I will say is I absolutely loved having a Razer mouse because of the coloring, the just general feel of the mouse has really been tested and they got some really good people working on that type of stuff from what I can see. Overall, the mouse looks absolutely gorgeous. You can tell they've taken proper professional photography for it. So I can see why it's marketed at a slightly higher rate. Uh, in terms of like what my favorite mouse is so far, it's a hard one, dude. There's some there's some really good mice here. Let's just let's just get a nice picture for each one, right? I think that's probably the best thing we should do. And then we can go through it like in an accurate sense to get like the best indication of what one looks. Okay, so I'd say this one's really, really nice. I don't like it being wired. Uh, I'm not as keen on, on the wired side of things, but I'm sure that could be sorted. Uh, I like the big buttons. That's definitely a, a nice thing. I, I would find this little button here really annoying. I think I would press it accidentally. Uh, that would frustrate me. Having a look at this next one here, um, Logitech, I love this mouse. This mouse looks absolutely gorgeous. Simple, sleek. And straight to the point, uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the Razer Naga, it's pretty nice. Um, I would have to check the reviews before I, I would consider it. I am not as much of a fan of the Steel Series. I think I would stay away from the Steel Series personally. I just don't think it suits me on a personal level with my tastes. This Corsair mouse is got to be probably my favorite. So if I were to rate it, I would probably go. Corsair being my absolute favorite, one I want to go for, I'm probably going to buy this one for my MMO gaming on World of Warcraft and Ashes of Creation and New World and all that shenanigans. I'm more than likely going to go for this mouse here, the Corsair, followed by this Logitech, which I absolutely love the look of this Logitech. I think I'd probably go for the Logitech if it had textured buttons. Uh, you know, if, if the middle and the bottom row were textured buttons, I would probably go for that one over the Corsair based purely just off the fact that I'm a Logitech fanboy and I, I prefer this design. I think it's more sleek. I think this is going to cause more sweat than this one will in particular. Either way, they both look really good. Steel Series is probably going to put that all the way at the bottom. Razor Naga, I'm going to put that second to bottom. Red Dragon is going to go in the middle. So Corsair for me is the number one. Logitech, number two. Red Dragon number three, Razer four, and Steel Series fifth. Personally, for me at the moment, I will make sure they are linked in the description below just to give you all thoughts. What mouse are you using for your MMO gaming? I'm really, really curious as to what everyone's using for their World of Warcraft experience. We are nearly at Dragonflight, and so I want to have a new keyboard and I want to have a new mouse ready for Dragonflight. So if anything goes wrong on that 24 hour stream on YouTube, I can be ready for it. You know, we're going from from level 60 to 70, and I don't want to fail whatsoever. I'm excited. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Smash that like button and click subscribe. We're let me know if you like these types of reviews and thoughts and processes and things like that. I'm always curious to know. If you want to get awesome World of Warcraft guides, check out my Patreon, where you can get access to erosiumtv.com. Thanks for watching. This is Erosium out, and I'll see you in the next one.